welcome back to Peace Fight Back. Today's video was a couple of days, um, the day before my appointment, the day of my appointment and the day after, which I'll explain why in the video. Um, but also a really successful few days with food. I had pasta, biscuit ice creams, magnums. I really pushed myself and despite having a few difficult moments, I made myself proud. Good morning. I'm very tired today. Um, it's the day before my appointments, um, which I'm a bit anxious about tomorrow. I'm excited because I've worked very, very hard this last week and I know I've made a lot of really positive changes and we are all really expecting good things to come of it. Um, but anyway, getting through today first. It's going to be a really hot day. It's already like 23 degrees or something. Um, so yeah, about to sit down to breakfast. I've got my teaspoon that says, you swipe back. And yeah, breakfast time. Well, part of my snatch day, I've got a bar I've wanted to try for ages and ages. Um, and my head was telling me I couldn't have it because of like food challenges I've got planned later. So I am having it. Um, it's a chocolate fondant flavored diner bar and it comes in two pieces. I just find a little bit more challenging because my silly brain tells me to only have one. Um, so I'm obviously gonna have both. Um, and yeah. I'm really excited to see how it is. I have wanted to try this bar since Christmas and I finally just thought I'm doing it. And it was so good. This is the first Battle Bites I've actually really enjoyed. Um, it had like this gorgeous like white chocolate fondant in the middle, um, really nice and chocolatey and had both pieces despite my head being silly and saying to only have one and had my apple with it, of course. I'd rate this bar a solid 9 out of 10. It is lunchtime, excuse my hat hair, I've been outside doing some gardening. Um, for lunch we have a return of the bagels. Um, the reason that we're keeping them in the freezer is to keep them fresher because in a couple of my videos ago I did mention that bread had become a big thing so I'm having like bread almost every day for my lunch and then like twice a week I'm having a different thing like a bagel or a wrap or something to try and make sure I don't get into any ruts or anything like that but I'm having it with hummus today so trying something a bit different um so yeah gonna go and defrost one ready for lunch challenge repeat gotta have the bagel again um yeah I wanted to try it with hummus and it was really really good actually um I can't decide what I preferred the ham mayo bagel or the hummus bagel they're both very good in their own ways um I think it was really important for me to prove to myself that I could do it again. It wasn't just a one hit wonder having a bagel one time. And I've got the whole packet I need to get through so I will keep doing it until I finish the packet and I can go and buy a new packet if I want to and keep eating them. And can I also say from someone that had bagel thins for years, proper bagels are so much better. Um, also had my Soren slice and my corner yogurt. Excuse my very hot face, um, it's boiling today. Um, I've got my afternoon snack and I'm having the sticky, tricky pud bar today. And I've not had this, oh, got some on my finger. Um, I've not had this one for like three or four months. No reason why, just hasn't come into my snack rotation. So I'm having it today. This bar was as good as I remembered. In fact, probably a bit better than I remembered. Um, I was finding things a little bit tough by this point in the day just because it was really warm and the heat is quite a big trigger for my anxiety. But I know the answer to my anxiety being high is not restriction. So I knew I needed to keep having all of my meal plan and have the snack that I wanted to have. I am trying to ignore the difficult day <laughs> I've had. Um, had a very, very big cry this afternoon. But that's okay. 
keeping on going and still having my pasta for dinner so my mum's just cooking it for me because I just needed a bit more help tonight uh, pasta, sausages, challenge repeat, keep going this pasta dish was so good I don't know how my mum does pasta so well but she made it um, and served it out and I had a few niggles in my brain telling me it was too much but I thought nope I'm having the pasta and I'm going to enjoy it and I did and I finished it all and I had my yogurt afterwards The weather was really nice so me, mum and dad just sat out and chatted for a while and then I had my night snack and I wanted to finish this day on this quote and moving on to the next day. Good morning, it's breakfast time on appointment day and I am excited, nervous, um, all of the things. Um, I've had a really good positive week the last week, so I'm really hoping everything goes well today because um, I've worked hard for it. But yeah, sitting down, gonna have my porridge, got my teaspoon that says finding fee to have it with, and fingers crossed today goes well. Also, it is like really warm today, but it's currently really cold, so I might end up in my dressing gown but wanted to showcase the amazing way the poop charms first because we need the poop charms, you can't beat them. I wanted to put a really quick message in here. Someone commented on one of my videos saying that they challenged me to finish the whole banana. Um, I want to say I always finish the entire banana. Um, I just don't put it all on my toast or my cereal, but I always, always finish both ends that don't go on my toast or cereal. Um, so yeah, thank you for the challenge and thank you for caring, but I literally always finish the entire banana and my mum always checks, so. Here you are, there's my entire banana gone by the end of my breakfast. Me and mum went on a food shop in the morning and I was, <laughs> this video I'm actually singing, I was in a really good mood and me and mum were just feeling positive. Um, we picked up lots of challenges for my afternoon snacks and some dessert options and then I had my snack in the car and I had an apple and then I tried this Mountain Joe's bar this was breaking a big rule for me because I knew I was going to have a Biscoff ice cream for my afternoon snack and I'd already had Biscoff at breakfast and I have a rule in my head that says that I can't have the same flavour more than once in a day um, and Biscoff, whilst it's one of my favourite foods, it's also one of the most challenging ones but I had the bar and it was really tasty, it's one of their new range and I'd rate it about a 7 out of 10. I didn't have my normal appointment this day, um, I literally just went in to get weighed um, so I did that and then came home for lunch. It is lunchtime and today I'm having my hummus falafel brioche, which is one of my new favourite combos. Someone commented on one of my videos saying that I don't tend to have hummus falafel anymore. I do have it three times a week. I just tend to film on like the same days each week um, and I tend to have the same things on the same days. Um, but yeah, no, still one of my favourite combos. Either in a brioche or a wrap, I think is the best one. Yeah, lunchtime. Not going to do a huge voiceover for this one, but hummus for apple brioche, one of the best combinations. If you've not tried it, I highly recommend trying it. Um, also had some mini cheddars, which I've not had for ages, and my corner yogurt for my lunch. After lunch I had a work meeting which was really interesting, um, the weather had started to get really really hot by this point um, and after the meeting I went outside and just picked some raspberries which is my calming thing to do. I look an absolute sweaty mess, it's so hot. To Me and mum went on a food shop, um, stocking up on some hot weather food. Um, I'm going to show you what I got and then I'm going to show you what I'm having today. So we got... These cookie comb extreme things. We've got 
Magnum white chocolate cookie things. We've got Magnum double caramel ones. But for my snack today, oh, I really do look horrendous. I decided I was going to have the biscuit ice cream. So we've got the white chocolate one and the milk chocolate one. So we didn't get any more biscuit ones today because we got, basically, we got like a few packets last year. So those are actually from last year. Um, but I've decided today I'm having a biscuit one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a white chocolate one or a milk chocolate one yet. Um, and I had a bit of a thing on the food shop because they bought out mini ones and my silly brain told me hey have a mini one nope we've got some that are full size that i need to eat from last year so having a full sized biscoff ice cream and i'm gonna let my mum decide between white chocolate and milk chocolate because i don't know and i'm too hot to think and we ended up opting for the white chocolate one and it was absolutely amazing if you've not tried these biscoff ice creams Get yourself to a Tesco and pick them up. Um, both the white chocolate and milk chocolate ones are amazing. It's basically really, really properly thick white chocolate um, with like Biscoff biscuit in the chocolate. And then it has like a layer of Biscoff around the ice cream. And then it's vanilla ice cream. And in the ice cream, it then has more Biscoff biscuit. Um, so if you're a Biscoff lover, you need to get yourself some of these. And even if you're not, give them a try because it is the best ice cream out there. Absolute 10 out of 10 every single time. And then I went and met Hannah for just to sit in the park and a chat about life, which was just lovely. Very hot though. Um, came home and had dinner and obviously still having pasta. So I had my pasta and sausages. And I was finding things a bit difficult just because of the heat, but I was keeping in mind all of the things that are happening that are positive at the moment, like work, um, how nice I felt after I saw Hannah. And I was just like, no, these are the important things. And eating pasta enables me to be able to do them. So I need to keep on going with it and finished my plate of pasta. And then I had my yogurt afterwards. later in the day and I've not done an update yet because I still don't know what happened today um I couldn't see my nurse um so someone else weighed me and obviously because I'm blind weighed I didn't know what happened and my nurse hasn't managed to let me know yet so <laughs> I don't know. I really, I, I am like 99.99, 100% certain I can come out the chair. Me and mum are even like, let's book something to celebrate it. Um, cause I've done so well this last week. I feel so good in myself. I feel strong. I feel like, yes, I've done this. Um, but yeah, we've not, I've not had the official but anyway, I wanted to do a bit of a recap today. I mean, this video is now going to bleed into tomorrow when I hopefully will find out. Um, but there was a few times I struggled today because I really challenged one of my rules, which is like repeating a certain flavour in a day. Um, so I had Biscoff on my toast at breakfast. I had a Biscoff flavoured bar like for my morning snack. And then the Biscoff ice cream, which was a huge thing. I think last time I had an ice cream on one of my YouTubes, I was like, yeah, I want to have a Biscoff on next time. And I was just like, now's the time. Let's go and get the Biscoff ice cream. Um, I've had quite a busy day. I've barely stopped, to be honest, because I had a meeting with work. Then I saw Hannah um, and it's been so hot. Like, I've just felt like I've just been melting. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but it sounds like one of our neighbours is playing with a squeaky toy for a dog. Um, so yeah, it's been a busy day. Um, I still don't know the answer yet, but having good feels, positive vibes, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to go and have a shower now. Um, and yeah, just keeping on going. Also, he's here to see. <laughs> I had a phone call with one of my friends in the evening and then I had my night snack. And I wanted to finish this day on this quote. I didn't do a whole lot of filming on the next day. Um, I had quite a difficult day, to be honest. So this is a little warning that things got a bit tricky the next day. But I got up, had my porridge for my breakfast and then had my toast afterwards. 
Then I tried this flapjack with um, my apple for my morning snack. It was okay. I'm just not a flapjack fan, so probably like a 4 out of 10. Um, then I went and I got my blood test done. Then for lunch, I had my hummus sandwich, uh, a sorin slice, and my corner yogurt. Excuse the sweaty, hot face is boiling today. Um, but yeah, it's really warm. So what do we do on hot days? We go and get ice cream. We have got a new ice cream that I've wanted to try for ages. Um, so gonna go and get it. As soon as these came out, I knew I wanted to try them. It is a double chocolate caramel magnum. Gonna see how it goes. Okay, I know I said the Biscoff ice cream was the best ice cream in the world, but this is a very, very high competitor. This was absolutely amazing. It had like caramel, like chocolate around the outside, then like a layer of caramel. And then it was like, I think it was salted caramel ice cream in the middle and it had like more caramel in it. And oh my gosh, it was so good. And I have never really liked Magnums growing up because I didn't really like the, I don't like the classic ones. Um, but this one was amazing. I said to mum, I was like, we need to get more of these because they are so good. This was an absolute 10 out of 10 ice cream. I genuinely would put it up there on a pedestal with the uh, Biscoff ice cream. I was really finding things difficult by dinner time um, for a few reasons, mostly because of the heat. It was getting very, very hot and I ended up having my dinner basically sat in the sun um, don't worry, after this we did find a way of cooling down the kitchen, we managed to put a parasol out the window, um, but I got really really overheated whilst eating and the heat's quite a big trigger for me, but I finished all my dinner anyway and I had a yoghurt. I didn't get out of the chair this week. Um... <sighs> I was so certain I had. I was so certain that everything had gone so well, but it didn't quite happen this week. Um, it's been a lot of tears this evening. <sighs> I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I'm trying so hard with everything. It's baffling me that I'm eating as much as I'm eating and it's not having the faster effect that I thought it would. And I know that all I can do is just keep on going. I'm sorry to end this video on this low point because I thought this video was going to be titled I Got Out of the Chair. But I'm just going to work hard for it to be happening next week. I have just had a really hard day. I'm finding the heat quite difficult. It's quite a big trigger for me. Um, just I feel anxious when it's hot, appetite's affected, um, yeah, just keep on going. I managed to finish my paint by numbers, I really enjoyed this one, I love the colourful ones. Um, then I had my night snack and I wanted to finish this video on this quote. I'm sorry the video ended on a bit of a lower note than I'd hoped it would, um, but I know that all I can do is just keep on going, and that's what I did. I just kept on going.